Greetings, Internet. My name is Chris, and this is Medieval Engineers. I've already done a video on this showcasing the trebuchet here and these two catapults. These are the same. This one is static, and this one is dynamic, dynamic, which means I can actually move it around. Uh, these didn't work, which was kind of disappointing. Uh, I made some more things. I made barrel launchers. Uh, let's use this one. This is the dynamic one. You might think barrel launcher. What can that be used for? Nothing. Maybe transporting uh, ale or mead across the wall, maybe. That'd be nice. It's like, oh, could you send us some mead, please? We're locked inside this uh, fortress here. You could, your body could be like, yeah, sure. Let me just load up the fucking barrel launcher. Uh, right, and do that. And release. It's a barrel of lives. And it's quite inefficient. But you can see that might just be enough if there's a wall in between. We have another trebuchet here. This one doesn't work, so I'm not gonna bother showing you uh, how it is. Basically, I made the basket heavier, but it's still just crap. This one here sort of works, um, but it'll break every time you fire it, pretty much. And let's load it up. I changed the, I changed the cup on this because uh, I I don't like the um, the catapult head that it, that is in the game because it's just very unstable and always breaks. Uh, but you can see, yeah, this one breaks. Boom, and shoots. I mean, that's an all right distance. We have another one here. Uh, don't think I can make it shoot very far. It doesn't usually shoot very far. All right. Oh yeah, you can pull these the opposite direction by holding a uh, shift. By the way. But, I mean, I'm I'm quite a fan of the game, even though it's just piss me off sometimes. Because I'll build something and it'll look like it'll work, but Sometimes it just won't work, and there's no way we have knowing. Alright, let's fire that. Oh, it didn't break. Interesting. I mean, it fires an alright distance. We have uh, this thing here. Um, I'm not really sure what I wanted it to be. I think it was supposed to be like a um, siege tower. And you'd stand inside. But you can see one thing. Like, it won't actually pull me with it. I'll have to walk inside it. But I can sort of move it that way. Just push it to the side if I want. But the thing is, as soon as I go over this edge, it's gonna tip over. It's very top heavy. And it'll break as well. Um, maybe I'll do something with that in the future, but right now I, I can't really see any way that could be viable. Because the wheels, I mean, you'd have to push it constantly and the terrain would have to be flat for it to actually be effective. Because otherwise it'll just um, go backwards. Now, this thing here, I'm very proud of it. Uh, I sort of sort of stole the idea from someone on the workshop. He'd made a ballista pult, I think he called it. I, I changed it a little bit around, made it a little bit bigger, bigger, heavier, um, did my own twist on it and such. Uh, it's more like a crossbow, to be honest, like a crossbow catapult. So what we have here, we have three settings. Let's try the first one, the, the furthest one. Uh, the closer they are to the center, the stronger it'll be, but uh, I can't put it any closer or it will actually uh, not work. So we'll connect that. That is the furthest one. We'll do the same over here. So these are the tension springs you can see here being used. Um, and I can see this being very, very, very neat once we um, once we get the, the actual um, crossbow arms into the game so we can make proper ballistae. Maybe some arrows as well. So we pull this back, and it will go all the way down. I tell you, making this just made me very nervous, because it's one of those things, if you played this game for some hours now, you'll know that making stuff like this is very unreliable. Like, this game just likes to make you feel bad, because stuff will break. But you can see that it goes pretty far as well. I think it's yep at the bottom of the hill. It's kind of nice. So let's uh, change the setting. We'll just go straight ahead and put it to the closest one. Setting number three, we call it. Well, I call it. There's nobody else than me here. Okay, setting number three. 
I also made two of these. It doesn't matter which one you pick. It's slightly skewed, but it won't actually matter for this one here. Because it'll go down uh, perfectly. Okay, we'll pull it all the way down. And I think... Yeah. Oh, okay. No further than that. Otherwise, it'll start fucking up. Because it, it'll get too tight. But you can see, basically... I pulled this... Um, that's like 120 degrees, maybe? Maybe a little bit more, maybe 140. Uh, but yeah, you can see I can't, I can't pull them any closer. Otherwise, it will just break. I think... Is it... Oh god, I think it might be actually slightly... Messed up. My calculations on this one here. I think it actually is. Like, this side is too short compared to this one. I don't know. I'll, f I'll find out. It looks like it is. Yeah, it is. It's short by one. Oh well. I'll fix it. Later. <laughs> Alright. And fire. And see, this will actually go to the top of the hill. Bam. It didn't hit. Unfortunately, it didn't hit. Um, let's push this out of the side. And then we'll actually... Can I push this to the side? Maybe if I use my flying powers. But we'll push that uh, crossbow a little bit further ahead. I can't actually push it. That's a shame. We'll push it ahead the crossbow here. So we can actually do some crazy stuff with it. I want to actually hit the tower. Because I'm also going to show you something I installed on it. It's sort of like an um, aiming mechanism, but it's very simple, uh, simplified. Okay, so let's go back in first person. Persian? Persian? Alright, so let's push it ahead. Um, basically just push it from behind. And don't be too rough with it. There we go, that should hit the tower, I think. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Now, to aim it, we'll use the back here. Because I made these too tall. When they're uh, too tall, <laughs> too tall, when they're um, too high, when they're this high, you can actually push them a lot easier. And I made the same here. This is for finer adjustments. You can see this is the center. So let's see, we want to push it a little bit to the left. Just a small bit. Yeah, that looks perfect. Alright, and we go tighten the rope. I like doing this in third person a lot more because your camera doesn't bob up and down all the time. A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go, perfect. Get our ball out, J to make it dynamic. There we go. Alright, let's watch this. I haven't actually hit anything with this yet. Alright. Ah, no. Damn. Still a little bit too short. Alright, there we go. I pushed it a little bit further ahead. Uh, yeah, it's still in center. That's good. Okay, let's do that again. This time, hopefully, we will hit. I want to destroy something for once in this bloody game. Oh, it, it messed up. Hold on. Sometimes, uh, when you push it, or when you fire it a few times, it will do this. It will actually put itself on the opposite side of where it's supposed to be. There we go. And then we'll pull this back a little bit. A little bit more. Okay. And we'll put this back in. I tried to make it too thick. Two. Try and, uh, one, two, three. Yeah. Two, as in the number. But it didn't really actually do any difference. Oh, fuck, I did that. Uh, I hate when you do that. See, I notched it just slightly. So it just went. Pff, not gonna work. Alright. Um, I'm just quickly gonna reload this. Alright. Gosh darn it. I don't ever curse like that unless I'm recording. Because it's funny. Like people actually curse. 
I don't. Oh well. It's not a curse if it's not rude. I don't think. Alright, um, let's pull this out a little bit more. And we'll do that without actually pushing the. Um, what, what should I call it? Uh, siege Tower. That's the word I'm looking for. Let's see if we can push it without actually messing it up. You know, I'll actually install a little something, something here. That way I can actually stand in here and I can push it. Alright, that should be good enough. That's not fucked up, that's good. It's at the setting 3. And both of them, you gotta make sure it's on both, otherwise it'll, it won't be as effective. Again, I haven't actually hit anything with this yet, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. Hopefully it will be very satisfying. And not just like a dull thump as it hits the roof. Okay. And uh, might be, might be, maybe, maybe, might be, might be, maybe, maybe. Maybe we'll hit the side of the tower. That'd be nice. Alright, fire and come on. Oh no. Okay, we need to push it ahead a little bit. It's like that small increment. Alright, there we go. Come on. That should do it. I mean, if that doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Like, I'd have to fucking go up and be right next to it to actually hit it then. Because the, the thing is, like, this is massive. It wouldn't actually be very effective if it doesn't... It wouldn't be very effective if it couldn't hit from far away. And this isn't really that far away. It's it's pretty pretty close if you look at it. Like, that small space is... What, 100 meters? 150 meters, maybe? I think real-life trebuchet, trebuchets can fire a lot further than that. Alright, let's fire it. Come on. And hit, please. Oh, are you kidding me? It still can't hit the damn thing. This is getting very disappointing. It's like, oh, I can actually fire it and it doesn't explode, but it won't hit anything. Okay, let's push it over here. Yes, that's good. Okay, you better fucking hit it now. Otherwise, this whole video would have been for nothing. No dramatic ending. Alright, and let's load it up again. I've checked the workshop, by the way, and people are crazy. They make some awesome things. Alright, hit it. Come on. Oh no, that's so disappointing. Alright. Last attempt. We're gonna push a little bit further. We're gonna push it a little bit more to the right. That should do it. It hasn't fucked itself yet. Okay. Come on. If I move it any further, it's gonna be cheating, basically. Okay, and... Let's pull you down again. Don't... Don't disappoint me this time, machine. I will burn you down. Oh god. See, that's what I'm talking about. Don't pull it too far down. It's just gonna fuck you in the mouth. Alright. And fire! Come on, destroy the fucking tower already. Yes! We have a hit. I'm gonna hit it again. We'll destroy it from below, that'll be fine. I mean, when you're hitting a tower, you're not really aiming for the top, are you? It would be nice to hit it in the top, though. Kind of like that effect when it crumbles from the top and then goes down. Okay. Let's fire it again. Hit it. Oh, nice. It hit even higher up. Damn. Awesome. I think it's because it's shooting it, or moving itself a little bit uh, forward every time it fires. I might have to put some weights in the back. 
uh, these little things here. You see it on my bar. A weight. Might have to put some of those in the back so it doesn't move. Well, I'll experiment with that later. Fire. A little bit of lag there. Oh, fuck, it hit the roof. Nice. Yeah, you can see it moved itself quite a lot. Like, it's it's a lot closer now. I'm going to push it back just slightly. I, I can't. Oh, there we go. I think I just had to be on the ground. Apparently you can't push things when you're flying. Also, remember not to land on your stuff. Like, I can't say this enough, because every time I land on one of my creations and it's dynamic, it just goes and just explodes all over. Like, if you saw before, it just <laughs> fucked, fucking tore apart half of it, just because I landed on it. It's still a little bit... Uh, a little bit, little bit wacky at the moment in the game. Alright. Ah, oh, nice. This is some nice destruction. I mean, the destruction physics in this game is nice. Or are nice. It looks really awesome. I'm gonna hit it a few more times. Maybe speed it up. Nice. I'm stuck in a hole. I think it's gonna shoot too far ahead if we do it now. I'm gonna push it back just a bit. I'm gonna hit it a little bit lower. Fuck, that's satisfying. I love this thing. I mean, this is this is worth it to me. <laughs> like this is this is the reason why you want this game, because you can do this. I mean, look what I fucking made. It's it's like a fucking medieval crossbow catapult. It's crazy. I love it. That's the first time I've made something that actually works. I'm I, I played this game like fucking tw twenty hours now. I think maybe. Come on, and hit it. Ah, nice. I'm gonna push it back a little bit more. Alright, let me put some weights in the pack. I wanna see if the weights change anything about it. So, we'll put the weights here, I think. Might actually break now. Alright, so let's put the weights. It's very shiny. wonder how they obtain that kind of... The kind of shiny, shiny metal. I mean, I, I guess it's just basic metal. Maybe they'll change the texture later, because it, it looks a little bit like the the same texture that some of the uh, untextured items have, so it might be changed. Like I'm assuming it would once it goes into survival, maybe. Uh, J. Okay. See what happens. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god, please. Please, physics, no. Uh, and the shot just went. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what a disappointing ending. Alright, so. <laughs> there's a lesson to be learned from this. Don't fucking put weights on your shit. Because it. What is it doing? I mean. <laughs> uh, let's, let's try and release it. God, this is weird. Physics, real physics, and this physics-based physics game. Holy crap! It's all because I just put a little bit of weight. It just went sideways. <laughs> all right, let's try and expect the uh, inspect the damage here. 
So we took out a little bit of the bottom, a little bit up here, next to the stairs, the roof, this railing here. I mean, I think the tower is fine still. So the last thing there is to do about this is take a 10 times mass and just just hammer this tower down. Yeah, yeah. Imagine that was us firing. I'd like to imagine that it was. Oh well. But yeah, I mean, the game is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's still, still glitchy as fuck. I mean, <laughs> did you see what it just did? That's kind of kind of weird. I think it's pr probably the um, uh, catch block that's doing most of the most of the work. The catch block and the um, te tension spring or torsion spring, whatever it's called. Those are the two perpetrators of all the glitchiness. They uh, they changed the destruction from last time I tried to dest destroy this building. Like, no more are there any uh, floating blocks, which I like. I like a lot. And looks nice as well. Like, they probably just did a few uh, tweaks to the, to the destruction engine. Like maybe it was calculating cal blah, blah blah blah. Let's try that again. Maybe it was calculating everything wrong. Who knows? Because there was something wrong with it. Because I remember floating blocks, and there certainly aren't that many floating blocks right now. Uh, how is this still standing? There's one tiny floating block right there. If I can hear it. Oh, it's go okay. <laughs> There's one floating block to holding everything up. Anyway, enough destruction. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you like this video. I'll try to do one more next time I make some crazy, 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 crazy stuff. Not that many crazies though. But yeah, I'll try to upload some more when I make some more stuff that might be enjoyable to watch. And I mean, I just finished this just moments before I recorded. I hadn't actually tried destroying anything with it, but it it's goddamn satisfying to fire with compared to these uh, basic catapult and trebuchet-like structures. I have another idea for a trebuchet I'd like to try out, so I'll be trying that out in the next week here. So maybe I'll upload something more. Who knows? Thanks for watching.